Today I'm going to show you how to make a logging uh, dynamometer using an old uh, USB uh, mouse with a scroll wheel. They have to have a scroll wheel. That's the old mouse. Now you get your mouse, you start taking it apart, get the old scroll wheel out, unplug it. Take the rest of the wheels out. And there we are. Our logging dynamometer circuit board what we're going to be doing is um, placing another wheel over those sensors in this case the scroll wheel mouse comes with um, quite a lot of teeth you want to replace the wheel with just a wheel with uh, two or three teeth so you've got like a, a Maltese cross instead of uh, 30 odd teeth that interrupt the beam. Now I've got the circuit board out I've uh, decided to unsolder the switches which I did, did earlier It'll give us better access to the, the sensor there this one here this pair here. Now you can put the board directly under the wheel and have the wheel spinning through here but uh, what I want to do is remove the sensor from the board so that I can put the sensor uh, up against the wheel and have the board away from the, the wheel or the rotor. Right now so now I've modified the board taking the bits off that I don't want and taken the sensors out and put them at the end of this piece of wire uh, on a separate piece of board um, the battery is there just to hold it steady and so now before I whack it into the, the rig that I want to test I'm going to test the electronics on the, on the computer the USB mouse is plugged in and if I Put this between the sensor like that and wiggle it about. I should get something on the screen, which I am. So it looks like my wiring's working, which is good. So now we know it's working, I can uh, whack it onto my rotor and we can find out uh, how fast it's spinning and what energy it's losing per rev and things like that. Right, so now we've got it all plumbed in. I've just put uh, a small four segment disc there. And uh, let's see if it will run on the program now. And uh, when you close this program, when you press stop, it uh, exports the data to Excel, so you can analyse it a bit better. I'll give you the address at the end of this video, so that you can download the software. 